everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Here at eTrailer, we install, test, and review a lot of different products to help you as a customer make a more educated decision before you purchase. Today, we are going to be working on a 2016 Chevy Impala. We're going to be taking a look at, and I'll be walking you through how to install, Kurt's Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver. Now, adding a trailer hitch receiver to the back of your Impala is going to be a great upgrade. We're going to be able to use a cargo carrier, a bike rack, and even tow a utility trailer or anything smaller since this is a class 2. Now being able to use a cargo carrier is going to be awesome for road trips or anything like that. We're going to be able to get all that extra cargo out of our trunk and onto the rear of our Impala, making more room for our passengers. And when we're using a bike rack, it's going to be a whole lot easier to load it onto the right to the bike rack on the back versus trying to stuff it in our trunk or stick it on the roof. This is what our hitch is going to look like installed. As you can see, the cross tube is barely visible. Then there is a, a brace that runs up to our rear strut that supports our hitch. But it still looks pretty sporty on here. Whenever you want to add a hitch to a vehicle like this, you want to make sure it looks nice and it definitely doesn't stick out. Our hitch is going to be a steel construction, so it's going to hold up really good for a long time. We are going to have this really nice black powder coat finish to help resist rust and corrosion, keeping our hitch looking nice. Now with this being class two, we are gonna have an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. You are gonna be a little bit limited on the accessories you can use, but you can find plenty of options here at eTrailer. And one thing I do like about this hitch is gonna be our reinforced steel collar. It gives it a nice finished look while also adding some stability. We are gonna have a standard half inch pin hole. And you do wanna keep in mind, a pin and clip do not come included with this kit, but you can find one here at eTrailer. We are gonna have a plain a plate style safety chain loop and you can see our safety chain fits on there just fine and we're going to go ahead and get you a few measurements to help you understand where this hitch is going to sit on your impala from the ground to the uppermost part of our receiver tube is going to be about 11 and a half inches this number is important for ground clearance and if you need to put your ball mount in the rise or lowered position another important measurement is going to be from our pinhole to the outermost part of our fascia and we're looking at about four inches and this number is very important for any folding accessories because you want to make sure they don't make contact with the back of your Impala. And as far as our weight capacities are concerned, we are going to have a 3,500 pound towing capacity. You do want to keep in mind, that's going to be the weight of the trailer and the load on the trailer. We are going to have a 350 pound tongue weight rating. That's going to be 350 pounds pushing straight down on your receiver tube. That's going to be plenty to get a few bikes on the back of your Impala. Now you do want to keep in mind, you need to check with your owner's manual and make sure that your Impala is capable of towing at those capacities. And if it's not, always go with the lowest number between the two. And in terms of installation, getting our trailer hitch receiver installed on the back of our Impala really isn't too bad. We just had to do minor trimming to the fascia. There's no drilling, no welding, and no serious fabrication. With that being said, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed now. To start our installation, we're gonna be removing a bolt from our exhaust hangers. So we're gonna move underneath of our Impala. Our bolt is gonna be located right here we're going to remove that with a 13 millimeter socket. We are removing the bolt on the back side of our weld nut. It is going to be a 13 millimeter socket and wrench. I went ahead and already loosened that up to where I can take it out by hand. We'll just thread that out. We'll do that same process on the other side. With our bolts removed, we are now ready to trim our fascia before lifting up our hitch. You want to follow this body line along your rear fascia and we'll just make a mark here and kind of follow that line out the back just like so we we'll trim it off this corner right here and we'll repeat that same process on the other side so whenever we're ready to trim this out this can be done with a utility knife you just kind of want to make your line and then take your utility knife and just kind of score that line don't want to push very hard but we'll just kind of score that. Then we'll come back and carefully cut it deeper and deeper until we can bend it up and just cut it off. This is what it's going to look like when it's all trimmed out. We'll repeat that same process on the other side. Now with an extra set of hands, we want to slide our hitch up and over that weld nut on each side and then just get our hardware started. We're going to grab our, our long eight millimeter bolt with the conical tooth washer we want to make sure the teeth on that washer are facing the hitch. And we just want to run these down hand tight. So as you can see, this is where our bolt came through. And on this back side, we're going to be adding our small eight millimeter nut. Now we're going to grab a 13 millimeter wrench and socket. 
We're going to put our socket on the outside and then tighten it down against that nut. We're just going to snug it down for now. We don't want to over tighten it. Then we'll move to the other side. Our kit is going to include two different brackets. Since our vehicle is newer than 2013, we're going to be using this front brace bracket. So we're going to grab our handle nut, then our hex bolt with a split lock washer. Now we're ready to get this installed. Our bracket is going to have two slotted holes on one side and a single round hole on one side. We're going to use the side with a single round hole. We're going to slide our bolt through then slide that through the hole in our strut mount. Then we're going to slide our handle nut into place and get that threaded. So with that started in our handle nut, we can now just snug that up by hand. Now we're going to grab a 19 millimeter socket. We're going to come back and come back and just snug this down. When we come down to the plate on the bottom of our receiver tube, there's going to be six holes. We're only going to be using four of them. We're going to be using the four rearmost holes. We can grab our carriage bolts provided. We're just going to slide that through the holes in our plate. Now we're going to grab our support brace. We're going to be using our flat side facing up. We're going to face this up, make sure our carriage bolts drop down through. And then we can grab our flange nuts with our flanges facing the hitch. We'll just get one started on each side. That way the brace can support itself. Now we're going to grab our hex bolt with our split lock washer. We're going to slide that through our bracket here and secure it with a flange nut on the bottom. Now I just want to come back and tighten down our hardware here for our plate and our support brace up there using a 19 millimeter socket. And I want to come back and torque everything down to the amount specified in our instructions. Now we just want to come back with a pair of 10 snips and trim off our excess handle nut. With everything tightened and torqued, our handle nut trimmed, we're ready to hit the road. That's going to do it for our look at and our installation of Kurt's Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2016 Chevy Impala.